With hospital beds filling up across the nation and here in Alabama, life and death dramas are playing out. Jeff Eliasoff tells us the very personal story of one woman fighting for her life tonight at UAB. Jeff. Guy, my friend Pamela Franco is lively and vivacious. She's an incredibly outgoing woman, so full of life, but she says her life was in jeopardy when she was admitted to UAB. This is Pamela Franco in recent happier times. Looking forward, newly engaged to fiance Tim. Suddenly Sunday, admitted to UAB, then... On Monday, I was diagnosed with the coronavirus. Symptoms she describes as horrible. Coughing, I couldn't speak, I could barely breathe. I was scared I was going to suffocate. Four days into treatment, big improvement. Thanks to a ventilator, the oxygen being purified, that's the sound you hear behind her. And I'm able to talk. I'm on oxygen and it helps me. I'm not able to uh, function without the oxygen. I cough and I struggle. Easing the struggle, the staffers at UAB. I have so much respect for the nurses and the doctors that are also putting themselves at risk every time they walk into my room. I put my mask on to help protect them. Pamela wants to help others before they end up in the hospital. I just want to share with you the importance of social distancing and to really pay attention to what's being put out there on the news. It's very important. Take care of your families. Her family and so many others rooting her on. I've received a lot of prayers and I'm very grateful. Thank you to my family, my friends, and our community that have all reached out and are all praying. Thank you. Thank you, Pamela. She keeps in touch with me regularly. Her fiance, Tim, is in quarantine at home tonight. No symptoms. He is in good spirits. But in a mighty sad coincidence, Pamela has two close relatives in Texas. She hasn't seen them for months that are also being treated for the coronavirus. Harsh realities, but all appear to be recovering tonight. Sherry? We certainly wish her well, Jeff. Pamela Franco is just one of 60 patients being treated for the virus at UAB right now. A dramatic increase from the one patient UAB was treating this time last week. Doctors say to keep practicing the same safety protocols they've been stressing from day one. If you wash your hands every time you go in and out, if you isolate um, patient people with symptoms in your house from people without symptoms and use social distance from everyone else, you are doing everything that we're asking you to do right now.